is Todoist, the best to-do app now? It's been developing so fast over the past year or so. There's a lot of great new features, some of which I'm gonna show you in this video. And there's also an amazing new feature coming up soon. This new Todoist feature that's coming is one of the most requested Todoist features, and it has been that way for years. I've publicly called for it too. I think it's gonna be game changing. Let me tell you all about that and then show you some of the other features. Here I am on Twitter or X, and I'm on the account of Amir, and Amir is the CEO and founder of Doist, the company that makes Todoist. He leaked this new feature. He loves to do this. Um, he really seems to get a lot of joy out of it. So what is this new feature? It is start dates versus deadlines, or deadlines we can call them due dates. I call this first type of date start date. Other people call it due date as in D-O date, but that sounds a lot like due due date as in D-U-E date, so it gets confusing. So there will be two types of date in Todoist. One that you can use to indicate when you're planning to work on something, let's call this the start date, and one to indicate when the task really needs to be done by. Let's call it the due date or the deadline. This is so helpful, let me show you why. I'll head over to my own Todoist to give you an example. Now, I have on Thursday, a client meeting that I need to prepare for. So let's create a task and I'll just add it under today right here and say, uh, prepare for the client meeting with Jasper. That's the name of my client. Um, I'll assign it to the business project. But now the question is, what am I gonna set the date to? So right now there's only one kind of date in Todoist. It's called the due date. So I could set it to Thursday. That's when my meeting is, so that's the last day that I could prepare for it. But I don't always like to do things last minute. In fact, I prefer to do things, or I prefer to do things ahead of time. It's just more chill that way. And if something takes a long time, I need to start ahead of time, right? So um, I could also say, well, you know what? I'm probably going to do this tomorrow. That would be ideal to work on this tomorrow, so that I'm I, I finish it well on time before Thursday. So I can set the due date to tomorrow. But if I do this, I lose information about when it really needs to be done by. So if I don't get around to this tomorrow, by the end of the day, I might find myself thinking, wait a second, but when did I really need to get this done by? Now in this example, that's pretty easy. I can go onto my calendar and find out the meeting is on Thursday. Fine, that's the hard deadline, Thursday. But if you've got lots of tasks like this and or different kinds of tasks, it's sometimes not that simple. So it's so convenient that you're going to be able to track those two separate dates. Now, other apps already do this very well, including Things 3. In fact, this is one of my favorite features about this other app, Things 3. Here's how this works in Things. If I say prepare for the client meeting with Jasper, here's what I can do. In Things, we've got one date, which is called the when date. We can think of this as the start date that they're sort of adding in to do us now and the other date that's the deadline, okay? So I, here in things I can say, well, the deadline is Thursday, but I'm going to plan to do this tomorrow and I've assigned two kinds of dates. Now what's gonna happen is on the internal calendar in things, this is gonna show up under tomorrow. Um, and if I don't assign a date at all, it's gonna show up on my calendar for Thursday. So it shows you this task on your calendar in the app on the earliest of these two dates. I hope that's how Todoist is going to implement it as well. Let's take another look at this screenshot. What they're gonna do is the existing date that's already in Todoist has this little icon right here. This, I think there's like a calendar icon and the new date is gonna have a little um, target symbol, right? And so this is gonna indicate the hard deadline. This is gonna be amazing. This is gonna open up so many new workflows and it's going to remove the need to do workarounds, it's just going to help you anticipate your deadlines, meet your deadlines, get shit done on time. So fabulous, I absolutely love this. Now, this is coming, I don't know when, but there's also a bunch of features in Todoist that uh, already exist that are new, that are fantastic as well. Let me show you those. The first of these recently added features is the ability to save your own project templates in Todoist. Here I have a project which is to prepare for a trip. I highly recommend that you have a project like this. Just fill it with all the things that you need to do to get ready for a trip. So I've got tasks to buy flight tickets, book accommodation, rent a car, which you sometimes do and sometimes not, but you can delete it if you don't need it for a particular trip, and to prepare the house for being away, such as emptying the fridge, throwing out the trash, and turning off the lights. I'd like to save this as a template so that I can reuse it and I don't have to think of all of this from scratch. Now what you can do in Todoist is you can click the ellipses over here when you're looking at a project, and you can just save this as a template. So I'm gonna click Save as Template, 
and it's called prepare for a trip now i have to give it a description which i don't love but i'll just click generate with ai assistant and it'll make an, a description for me and then i'll click save and now what's going to happen is um oh, i did this before so you're going to see it twice doesn't matter now under my templates in the to do as templates uh, templates environment you're going to see your templates so how do you get there you get there by going here next to my projects just clicking the plus sign and then clicking browse templates and you've got all these options uh, by the way you might want to go to setups and check out this wonderful to-doist recommended setup by a guy called peter ruckies highly recommend this one it's a very good setup with a good readme that will explain how to use it so go check that out it's just a one click install of my recommended to do a setup um anyway let's go back to my templates and now what i can do is i can just create a new project from this prepare for a trip template i can say copy to my projects and we're going to have this template sitting over here or now a new instance of it and I can drag it to where I wanna go and I can say prepare for USA trip, for example. And this could be a different one. So um, it was already possible to make your own Todoist templates before and putting them in like a top level templates folder, but that was a bit clunkier. This is a really great built-in way to do it. And if you wanna learn more about what other things you can do with templates, how you can save time with templates and also with other features like repeating to-dos in Todoist, check out my Todoist course. It's called Organize Your Life with, with Todoist and the link is in the video description. The next new feature is that you can now see your calendar events inside Todoist. This is great. You might've already seen this earlier when I was showing you my today view, but here is my calendar events for today. I've just got one for today. This is not a task in Todoist, right? This is a calendar event showing inside Todoist. This comes from Google Calendar. The way to set that up is just go to Todoist and then settings, and then you go all the way to the bottom here and click calendars, and then you can connect your Google Calendar. This does not yet work with iCloud Calendar or Outlook Calendar directly. They will add that you know, feature in, in the future, the possibility to connect your Outlook or iCloud Calendar, but for now, you can subscribe in Google Calendar to your Outlook or iCloud calendars and then pipe that through into Todoist. So there's a workaround, just click here and they'll teach you how to do that. But for now, this is so handy. And if I go to the upcoming view in Todoist, I will see not just my upcoming tasks, such as the ones here, 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 um, and this task that I've scheduled for a specific time for today, but I can also see my calendar events for this week. I got a pretty light week as you see, I love it. Um, yeah, and this is so helpful. So right now, this is still an early feature. You can't really edit your calendar events in Todoist yet, but this allows for integrated planning and also for time blocking. It's so helpful. You can also go to view over here and just click on month. And then what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a month view instead of the week view. Sticking with the calendar theme, my favorite calendar app, Fantastical, which is available for Apple devices, now supports Todoist durations. Durations are actually a relatively new feature in Todoist as well, where you can say, hey, here's a task and it's going to take a certain amount of time. Very handy for time blocking. Now, that now also works in Fantastical. So here we're looking at my Fantastical and I am showing my Todoist tasks in Fantastical. The way to set that up, by the way, just go to Fantastical, go over to settings, then under accounts, add your Todoist account. Then you're gonna have to go to calendars and lists and just scroll down and enable all the Todoist projects that you want to see inside fantastic how so you can see that today these are my tasks and these are my appointments and what i can actually do is i can i can manipulate all this stuff here right so for example record youtube video 138 to doist updates i can check that off um there you go but i wanted to show you the duration so the next youtube video that i'm going to record is this one and i can just drag it on my calendar and i can say you know what i want to start doing that today uh at 2 30 but i can actually drag this all the way up to let's say 3.30, and now I've got given it a duration of one hour. And if I go back into Todoist, I'm gonna see that this has also been synced here as well. The other, the other task here, by the way, has now disappeared, the one that I'm working on right now, because it's been checked off, right? But you're also gonna see under the Today view that this next video I'm gonna record is scheduled there for the right duration. Again, just amazing for time blocking 
so helpful that Todoist is rapidly adding all of these features. They're not perfect. The calendar integration also needs a little bit of work, but it's improving all the time. And it really feels like it's a great time to bet on Todoist. Now, you might have noticed that the Today View in Todoist does not yet have a calendar view, but I've got good news for you on that front as well, because that is also coming. Here I am again looking at Amir's X account. And here's another leak that he, that he posted and surely enjoyed posting, uh, which shows you what the Today View with a calendar view is going to look like in Todoist soon. And this is just great, again, for time blocking, but particularly for just making a plan for each day in between all of my meetings. You know, when am I going to work on which task? And it's just so useful that they're doing this. It's going to help you make sure that you're not over committing yourself. And it's going to help you be more intentional about how you're going to use your time. By the way, it can sometimes be confusing to figure out what you should put on your calendar versus what should go in Todoist. Or if you've got a meeting and a related task, how you should represent that in your calendar and in Todoist. Fortunately, my Todoist course teaches you all about that. It's super helpful to know how that works and to organize your tasks and your events well to make them work together. So check out my Todoist course if that's something that's interesting for you. So is Todoist the best to-do list app? For some people, yes, but Competing apps like Things 3, which I briefly showed you earlier in the video, also have their strengths, such as in the case of Things, the buttery smooth interface. Either way, Todoist is developing the fastest out of all of these apps. So if Todoist was already really tempting to you, definitely give it another look, and you might as well learn how to use it well by downloading my free Todoist cheat sheet and enrolling in my full-length Todoist course. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Ciao.